All right, folks, and welcome back to the Don's channel. I am the Don Father, and I'm now going to be giving my predictions for the Rugby Union World Cup in Japan uh, 2019, of course. Uh, pool A, then. I'll start off with the teams in each group and how it works out, uh, who would play who, and then we'll go to the semi-finals and into the final and who I predict for the overall winner, plus who I predict for the bronze final uh, when I'm runner up. So, Pool A consists of um, Ireland, Scotland, Japan, Russia, and Samoa. Host nations in there. Um, pool B, New Zealand, South Africa. Two Titans in that group. Italy, Namibia, and Canada. Kind of just making up the numbers for the top two there, aren't they? Um, and Pool C, England, France, Argentina, USA, and Tonga. And pool D, the last pool, Australia, Wales, Georgia, Fiji, and Uruguay. Okay? So, basically, the winners of pool A will play the runner-up of pool B. The winner of pool C will play the runner up of pool D. The winner of pool B will play the runner up of pool A. And the winner of pool D will play the runner up of pool C. You'll be like, oh, that's quite confusing. So anyway, I'll say who I think is going to win the groups, etc. Um, as I go through, two teams go through, a winner and a runner up from each pool. That makes up your quarter finals. And then obviously from your quarterfinals you get your semi-finals and you know how that works. So, pool A, I reckon Ireland, um, uh, the team's in it again, just to remind you. Ireland, Scotland, Japan, Russia and Samoa. And Samoa actually could have a little bit to say in this, I think. Even Japan being the host nation, you probably can't take your eye off the ball. Scotland and Ireland aren't going into this in amazing form. Of course, Ireland are a better rugby team than Scotland, but Scotland actually aren't too bad in World Cups. So um, it will be quite interesting in this group, but I still feel Ireland and Scotland will be too good for Japan, Russia and Samoa. They will be the two teams going through with Ireland, the victors of that group. So that means, basically, that... Um, let me see. Yes, I'm right here. The winner of that will play the runner-up of Pool B, right? So... That group there is New Zealand, South Africa, Italy, Namibia, and Canada. Now, New Zealand and Canada, uh, New Zealand, sorry, and South Africa are going through. There's no doubt about that. Um, New Zealand will be firm favourites to win it again. Of course, they've won the first team ever to win two back-to-back -back Rugby Union World Cups since it started. Um, South Africa have been a pretty successful team over the, the World Cup era as well. Um, they have got um, a philosophy of every player has to be above a certain height. They're young. They're quite a physical side. You can't write this team off. You heard it here. South Africa could be a team, even if my predictions are wrong, they could be a team that could have a lot to say in the full distance of this World Cup. They do not be surprised if they can make it all the way. That's all I'll say. I predict New Zealand will win that group. So that should mean New Zealand will play Scotland and Ireland will play South Africa in the quarterfinals. Quarterfinal two, then, would be New Zealand, Scotland, and quarterfinal four will be Ireland, South Africa, okay? So, on to Pool C, England and Pool D. England, France, Argentina, and USA. Um, I put down England and France to go through from that. Argentina aren't a bad side. Tonga could maybe cause the odd upset. I doubt it, though. I think France and England... Argentina are really a dark horse there as well, though. They do actually quite like World Cups, don't they? When they play in the, against the Southern Hemisphere sides, they're always the weakest side. But that there's so much quality in the teams down there. It's unbelievable. They're really playing against quality sides. Uh, but I think England and France are... <sighs> England going into this, you could argue, aren't a great England side. But you just cannot write England off. No chance. And France, I wouldn't do it either. I just think they're two teams you just don't write off. 
I don't think they're bad sides. I don't think they're great sides, but I think they'll probably be better than Argentina. So they're my top two teams going through from that. Um, on to Pool D, just explaining it. Australia, Wales, Georgia, Fiji, Uruguay. Australia, Wales are going through. I think Wales will go through as group winners. And I actually said, I think England will go through from the winner of Pool C and France will come runner-up. So how that will work then, England will play Australia in quarter-final one. And Wales, winners of Pool D, in my prediction, will play runner-up France of Pool C. So the quarter-finals... Going through them quickly. Quarter final one, England Australia. Quarter final two, New Zealand Scotland. Quarter final three, Wales France. Quarter final four, Ireland South Africa. I predict now a lot of Australians are going to shoot me down here, but also anybody that's talked to me about rugby union will say Australia are actually struggling right now. They did beat New Zealand a week or two ago, but New Zealand had a man sent off and they didn't have a full team out. When New Zealand lost that game, they went and put uh, a more experienced team out and absolutely battered Australia. So, New Zealand are looking good. Australia, um, obviously, aren't as good as what they should be, but they are a tournament side as well. They know how to go out and win things. Um, Australia can't be taken for granted. But I think England will beat them. I don't know why. Um, come on up. Come on up and sit with me. We're doing our predictions. Come on here. I want my teddy. You show your teddies and I'll go through this. New Zealand, Scotland. New Zealand win. I'm not going to beat about the bush there. New Zealand are beating Scotland in quarter final two. Wales, France, quarter final three. Wales will win it. Wales are a dark horse for this. Of course, Grand Slam winners uh, in the Six Nations and they're absolutely flying right now. I feel there's a feel good factor back in Welsh rugby. They're a strong team. They're probably the best Northern Hemisphere team right now. They're ranked number one in the world, which I, rankings I don't go by. I go by teams that win stuff. They did win the Six Nations, but New Zealand are World Cup holders right now. Um, and I still think New Zealand are favourites in my eyes for the World Cup. But we'll get to that anyway. So Wales will beat France in quarter final three, quarter final four, Ireland, South Africa. I think this game could be a little bit too much for Ireland and South Africa's quality uh, will prevail. South Africa will go through. Wait there, we'll talk. So, for semi-final one, England, New Zealand. And semi-final two, Wales, South Africa. Probably the hardest one to call. Listen to this, this is good. Um. I'm going to call a New Zealand win over England. I think it's going to be a straightforward enough victory. Um, and Wales, South Africa. I'm sorry, Wales. I believe... Or sorry, South Africa. I believe Wales are going to do you. And it's going to be a New Zealand-Wales final. So, World Cup winners against world number one ranked side Wales will be the final. But bronze final then. South Africa versus England. I believe South Africa will win that. And my overall winner for the World Cup 2019 in Japan and the Rugby Union between Wales and England, I'm predicting New Zealand to do it and win three World Cups in a row, smashing records, New Zealand style. I just feel that they're absolutely unbelievable and they're going to do it again. Predictions over as per the Dawnfather. Thanks very much for tuning in. I, I can't wait to watch this World Cup. I really do enjoy the Rugby World Cups. I hope um, if any of you are watching my predictions, you can give me some comments about who you feel is going to do it. Do you think that I'm maybe getting a few things wrong? Uh, let me know in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and put the notifications bell on. And check out our channel. If you want to check out uh, hats, Baseball caps, hoodies, polo shirts, we've got them all getting sold now on the channel. Comments in the description section below if you're interested in that. And also check out our other social media platforms such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. We'll all be in the description section below and other ways in which you can help fund and support the channel. Sorry for the background noise there, but having children and doing a channel can be quite testing at times. 
Thanks very much for watching. I am the Dawn Father and enjoy the Rugby World Cup in Japan 2019. I'm sure it'll be an absolute belter. Thanks again. Goodbye.